Hi fellow key shooter. In today's video I want to show how you can create a radial brust metal texture like this one where you get these nice looking reflections and when you move it around they actually react to your actual light setting. So this is a a metal processing technique used a lot these days in uh, industrial design. You will find it on headphones and knobs and whatsoever. And uh, I'm going to show you the way that I do it and the way that I think is the best way. I have seen some other examples where people are using bitmap textures like these to create the bump map. Um, but the problem is here that you already have the reflections embedded in the textures. So the lighting is not going to react correctly to it. And especially when you're moving it around the... the um, reflection stays static and it, this also goes for the normal map that you can find uh, for example this one here you see the reflections are sort of embedded in the texture and this is going to look not so good you can use a texture like this one but you are restricted to a certain size due to it, the cutoff here and you can actually create this um, map as a procedural texture inside Keyshot. And I'm going to show you how now. So let's delete all of this, what we have done so far. Yes, and change it to a diffuse material. So this could be your starting point. And the very first step is to change the material type to uh, anisotropic. And what does that mean? Anisotropic means that the roughness is different in uh, the x direction and y direction. So it, let me explain. If you turn both down to zero, we get this perfectly shiny object. And you see that by turning up the roughness x, the roughness in the x direction increases as well. While if we increase the roughness y, the reflection or get yeah the reflection gets more rough in uh, in this direction. We can use that to create the uh, distinct reflections that you have on a radial brushed metal. But first of all, let's add a bump map, um, and I'm going to use this brushed radial procedural texture and uh, I'm going to open up the material graph because if we look at it it looks completely wrong and it's because that sometimes uh, it's mapped incorrectly so uh, hit the mapping tool hold down shift <clears throat> to snap to uh, 90 degrees and rotate it this way now you see it looks way better. And we can uh, hit C on the keyboard to get back to normal and go back to uh, this view. And if we bump up the bump height, we get this brushed surface. To get the reflections that I showed you in the beginning, you have to do one small trick and it is to uh, change the mode of the anisotropic material to radial. Hit the position button and click right in the center of this bump map and hit OK. And now the bigger difference there is in the roughness X and roughness Y the more prominent these uh, reflections get. So, as you see, by having a high roughness in the X and a low in the Y, we get these nice sharp reflections and they move around as we turn the object. And now it's just about dialing in um like how visible you want it to be and how rough you want the look to be overall 
if you think that this bump map is too like there's a lot of variation and you want a more crisp and almost perfect bump instead you can uh, actually go and use this wood procedural texture instead again rotate the mapping like so and um, change the color to white and black turn the ring noise down the actual noise down and the color noise down and you now have like a perfect circular pattern and turn down the scale and actually I wanted the white one to be this something like this And here you go. If you put that into the bump map instead, you get this perfect brushed pattern instead. That's all for now. I hope you can use it in your projects. And please hit my face to subscribe and uh, like it if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.